Hello and welcome to the channel. Got the video started a little late into this morning's uh, roll, uh, but I wanted to turn it on because when in Rome, right? So we're driving through the suburbs of Kansas City heading over to Research Medical Center. Uh, we are in FSD 13.2.8. And the reason that I turned the camera on is because <laughs> the other day I was driving uh, by an intersection that had like a trench dug out in it. It was under construction. And I set the car to uh, auto raise the suspension when it came in that area. So I'm not sure if we're going to go through that intersection uh, today or not, but I wanted to try to capture it if, uh, if we did. So I saved the location. Um, yeah. So here we go. Got a little construction here. I've been driving around Kansas City for uh, for a few days and they've got some wild intersections here. This one's not terrible, but even just looking at it, it's, you know, it's under construction. As a driver, I, I'm figuring it out, you know, trying to figure out kind of where to go. So these are the kinds of situations that I like to see what FSD does, right? So we have construction. We have traffic coming here, no painted lines, tore up road, but FSD does a really good job reasoning with how to handle that, so fantastic. I think Kansas City is a pretty cool little town. We've got a lot of statues and fountains and I think I heard somewhere that it is the city of fountains adjusting speed slightly for the cyclist there see there's another one where there's just random like <laughs> multiple roads kind of pouring into one intersection there more fountains they're they're everywhere it's quite nice. The whole side of this building is a fountain. take me that long to edit it <laughs> that long to upload it so I don't know if and it's you know Oklahoma and Kansas so you know it's pretty much just one road one car nothing very exciting going on there a little rain a little conversation if uh, if you're interested in seeing that let me know and maybe I'll maybe I'll take the time and, and put it up for you Another thing that I've started doing is, believe it or not, um, I make mistakes sometimes when I when I make when I'm filming. <laughs> like, you know, uh, you start off or you have an idea and it doesn't go the way that you want it to. And so usually what I'll do is I'll just go in and edit that stuff out. I'll I'll you know I'll cut it. Um, but yesterday I was editing a video and I I found it hilarious. <laughs> it's just it was funny. So I've started building kind of this bloopers reel, which is basically outtakes from these 
videos and when I get enough of it together I'll throw a I'll throw a gag reel up and you all can get a good laugh out of that. So we're doing 24 and a 35. Uh, that's not an FSD choice, that's a human driver choice and we have a vehicle here kind of partially into our lane. FSD does a fine job navigating around. I don't know what, what she's doing or why she thinks that's an okay way to park. School bus just kind of chilling there. I don't know. Alright, slow driver moves out of the way, which is fantastic. We should be able to get up to speed here. Uh, some people losing patience there. <laughs> Have a good day, sir. Um, I don't know. short drive this morning, but a couple of fun things we've captured on the way over. I'm still waiting on the spring update. I, I'm always checking to see if it's coming in. I'm really excited to see the, uh, the turn signal uh, indicator videos up here on the instrument cluster. No right turn, it says. This road is closed. Let's see what it does. It's gonna try and corrects itself. Good job, FSD, I love it. I wish it would have read the sign and made the decision sooner, but in any case, the road's closed. Uh, we can't go that way, so it's gonna reroute us. Uh, well done, well done. Those are the types of you know real world cases I like to document. People ask all the time, what about this? What about a road closure, you know? and. In just about every circumstance, uh, FSD is able to kind of reason uh, through these things. Yesterday, when I left the hotel uh, from the parking garage, I was parked uh, in the EV charging space, which is butt up right against a, a concrete wall and a very, very tight uh, right-hand turn to get out of the garage. And I think, for whatever reason, FSD didn't make the decision to take that turn. And I started FSD from park and it kind of went in further into the parking garage and I decided to just let it go. I wanted to see how it would work its way through it. Uh, that particular parking garage went three floors underground and we sat back and let FSD work it out. And it did, it went down a floor or two maybe before it finally said, yeah, this, this isn't working. I'm not seeing a way out of here. And so it turned around and went back out of the garage. It, it handled it really well. I was super impressed with it, uh, and I have that video up. Uh, I will try to put a link to it in the description, uh, but I think it was called, no idea, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember, uh, but have a look at that. I think
think I might have Concord Parking in the title. So I was really impressed with it, so check that, check that video out. So coming up to this, this red light here on Meyer, as I looked to my left, I, I might have gone as a driver. Uh, I feel like there was probably enough of a gap, but I've said this before, I am completely okay with the pause. Like We're all in such a hurry all the time to get somewhere, and every once in a while that results in a really bad decision. You pull out in front of something that you don't see or, I mean, how many, have you ever almost hit a pedestrian? I'm not saying I have. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, we just get in such a hurry that sometimes we make the wrong decision. Uh, so I, I don't have a problem with the pause. I don't mind waiting a few, waiting for a few extra cars. So uh, I'm, I'm completely okay with it. And so right now I'm cruising along at 11, 12 miles per hour in this parking lot. FSD will do it slower. It's more cautious, it's a bit more hesitant. And I'm okay with that too, uh, because if you were to really take a step back and think about driving through a parking lot, and we're all guilty of it, this is where you're gonna see the three-year-old dart out, you know, or the 80-year-old oncology patient back up and not see. This, this is an area where you should be more aware and, and driving a little bit slower with a little bit more care. So we're all just humans out here trying to get uh, to where we're trying to get to. That looks like a happy, nope. <laughs> so we've spent quite a lot of time together this, uh, this week driving through this parking lot. Um, it's a busy, busy, uh, busy hospital. What can I say? That looks like a spot. That's a good spot. We're going to take that spot. So we'll just engage auto park there and uh, we'll get parked and we'll be here for just a little bit before we get back out on the road. Well done. Okay, that is going to conclude our journey. As always, thank you for riding along, and we'll catch you in the next one.